Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've even said those words. So if you guys have been following along my blog or my Instagram stories and even some of my posts, you'll know that lately I have kind of taken a little break from painting and there are many different reasons for why that happened. But I wanted to show my face on my channel today and to show you guys that yes, I'm still here. Um, I'm still working as an artist full time. It's still my jam. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not quitting. Nothing's changing as far as that goes. Um, the past few months have been crazy just with my husband's um, just health things we've had going on. He had surgery on his thyroid. All is well um, nowadays, but at the time it was very stressful and there was just a lot going on. So if you guys, as I'd already said, if you've been following along on my um, social media and my blog, then you'll know that I've also changed studio space, which is kind of why you're seeing me in this setting. Um, behind me, this wall is one of the last walls that I have to finish and paint. Um, yeah, but it's been a journey and I've been working non-stop in my studio to get it into a place where I feel comfortable and I feel happy and my creative energy can just sort of flow and um, I'm the type of person where the, my, the environment that I'm in greatly dictates my mood and um, yeah, so long story short, I guess I'll just give you guys the whole thing now. You guys have waited long enough and I thank you so much for your patience and understanding and all of my friends who have um, reached out and have you know sent their love and told me they look forward to seeing new art and everything. I really really love you guys and I appreciate your kind words more than you know. Um, yeah so basically like I said a few months ago around the time when my husband was having his surgery um, my mother-in-law was coming into town and she was staying with us for about a week so I wanted to have um, a nice space for her to be able to um, relax like uh, her own room and our house currently has three bedrooms and an unfinished basement we have a friend who stays with us um, and he takes up one of the bedrooms and then my husband and I of course have our own bedroom which leaves one extra room that I had been using as my studio space since we moved in and we've been living in this house for almost two years so when my mother-in-law was going to come and stay with us it was it kind of stirred up the whole pot of I know I'm probably going to need to move my studio space eventually anyways we wanted to have a guest room um, possibly a nursery for in the future um, yeah just a whole bunch of different reasons for why that room wasn't officially going to be my um, permanent studio space so we figured we might as well use that opportunity of her coming into town to start changing things up um, so that's what we did because I I needed to move everything out of there eventually anyway so we just went ahead and did it now the problem with this whole scenario is that my new studio space which is where I am right now is currently in our basement so um, it is a really good sized basement but the problem is that it is not currently finished now in order to be a finished space technically it needs to have the wall the the walling the floors completed the walls the ceiling you know all of the good stuff it needs to be in livable conditions right so um, there isn't anything particularly wrong with the basement or anything like that it's not like creepy um, you know cemented in brick walls kind of thing um, it's a pretty open space and it's a really good space the only problem is like I said it wasn't finished so me being the type of person where I need to be in a clean, happy, just relaxed environment in order to feel my best. It wasn't the most ideal situation at first to move down into the basement. So for the last several weeks I've been just working really hard at um, making the space work with what it is currently and what I have right now. So while there's still a lot of ceiling to <laughs> install, there's still walls that need to be put up, flooring, all of that good stuff, I really wanted to brighten the space up and to make it into a workable, livable space where I can feel comfortable creating. And that's what I've been working on really hard within this la these last few weeks. I just hit this really big creative block and it became really hard for me to try to... 
um, paint knowing that all of this work needs to be done in the space that I'm in and it it became very distracting and I found, found it so hard to even just get out my sketchbook and draw and I just couldn't do it and it's just been really really rough for me emotionally and mentally so here I am today I have been working so hard in the studio I have painted and I've done a lot of mudding. Um, I'm doing actually textured walls down here uh, just because this is our first time finishing a basement and doing this kind of um, home, I don't know, home improvement related stuff so that we did make some mistakes in the beginning when we started down here and to kind of avoid having to go back and redo a lot of things. We figured this is our house, why not? kind of jazz things up a little bit. So I actually, instead of, we made a little error with some of the mudding and we would need to do a lot of sanding. Um, so in order to avoid the sanding um, aspect of everything, we, or I decided that it would be really cool to do kind of a textured wall. So that's what I've been working on and I'll give you guys a little tour. I'm still kind of embarrassed because the studio is not, um, finished by any means. It, I don't think an artist studio is ever really finished. I don't think we ever really feel comfortable saying that just because we like to change things up so often it seems. Um, but I figured I'd kept you guys in the dark long enough and I wanted to give you a little mini tour of my studio and my space and just where I'm at right now. So I guess today's video is kind of a little vlog and a little um, up, update on my studio. So. Just wanted to show you guys and to share so also um, there is this little story that I wanted to talk about before I take you guys around the studio um, I had mentioned it in two parts on my Instagram and my Facebook page um, so gosh where do I even start okay so when my mother-in-law was in town and I was in sort of the beginning of my big art block and my creative just black hole that I was in um, we had went to breakfast one morning and we live out in the country if you guys hadn't guessed or I hadn't mentioned it before we live in a rural area kind of surrounded by a lot of um, farm farmland and fields and stuff like that so we went to breakfast about it's about 10 5 to 10 minutes away from our house depending on how fast you drive I guess um, and it's the town of Dalbo Minnesota uh, and they, it's very very small there's only a handful of houses there is one bar and a, um, and a post office, and that's it. So that is just this really small, quaint little town. But um, we went there for breakfast one morning, um, a couple family members and myself. And after breakfast, we had noticed, now yellow is my favorite color, and if you can see the couch that I'm sitting on currently, it's this beautiful yellow couch, and it was sitting right across the street of the restaurant which was this little house and they were um, some people in the driveway and they were packing up all these boxes and bringing them to the end of the road and I'd noticed a couple other beautiful pieces of furniture as well so me being the person that I am <laughs> being curious we walked over to investigate and I, I just couldn't even I, I couldn't not ask about the couch right it's beautiful it was quaint and just cute and my favorite color so we went over and we asked them um, if they were uh, putting them up for sale, if they were going to have um, a yard sale or something like that. And um, apparently the gentleman that was um, the owner of the house, sorry my dog is coming over here, go lay down Nova. I don't want her laying on the couch. <laughs> um, the gentleman who is the owner of the house, he was packing away a lot of his mother's um, goods and boxes and supplies and just all of this different stuff. It was all his mother's who had recently passed away and it was very, um, very ironic for me. I felt like the whole situation, I was almost in just like complete shock and awe. I couldn't believe the circumstance and the similarities and just it was one of those situations where you know that it's got to be a sign of some sorts um, while I was in this really dark mental creative block I was questioning if I'd made a mistake um, in becoming an artist and things had been not going as fast as I'd wanted them to um, things haven't been progressing quite as quickly as I'd hoped when I started this journey 
So I was questioning my decision to become an artist and well maybe maybe it was not realistic and just you know feeding myself all of those really negative um, self-talk um, and it just really wasn't a good place that I was in and when we had walked over and talked to this man he was there with his sister as well I think um, there were three of them brothers and sisters that were all kind of packing up his mother's stuff and deciding what to keep and going through everything and they were straight up just throwing away all of this stuff and they had told me um, that me just just looking at me and being around me and sensing my spirit they had told me that they just felt like I was a very kindred spirit in relation to their mother and they had said that they wanted to give all of this stuff to me and they felt like it was what she would have wanted and I was just in shock the whole time. My mother-in-law was freaking out and she was so happy and excited and there was so many different art books and it turns out um, the man had asked me if I was an artist and I had told him yes, you know, uh, I have a YouTube channel, I just started full time um, several months ago and he had told me that he had kind of sensed that about me and he had asked me if I wanted all of this stuff and completely free of charge. And I felt like that was just the universe and God saying to me, don't give up, you're on the right path, you're meant to be an artist, that's who you are, and you're going to go far, you just need to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, so I just really wanted to share those things with you guys, and now that you kind of know what I've been up to, I'll give you a brief little look at my studio space and what I've been working on and what I've been working with. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and really quickly before I jump into the studio tour, I really want to just thank you guys so much for following along in my journey. It means so much. You don't even, you don't even know how much you guys mean to me. So I really thank you for that and I'll show you the rest of my studio. I'll give you a little tour of it right now. Down by my feet Stood on crowded bathroom rug Voices filled the rooms upstairs Our fort was warm before we drove Alright guys, I just thought I'd give you a little tour here. So as you can see, this wall is still pretty unfinished. There's some pieces of ceiling that needs to be put up and I need to finish mudding and painting this wall. But this is the last little area that I need to complete for now until we end up adding more drywall. But this is the couch I was telling you guys about and on it you will see all of my new frames. I had just gotten these babies in yesterday and today I went ahead and I framed them and I'm so excited. I feel like they suit the frames beautifully. Like those two are a pair and I was going to build more onto this collection and this idea of just this black and gold and the idea of identity and transformation but I kinda lost my mojo with that so I think I'm going to leave it at these four pieces and now that they are framed and wired they're going to be going in my shop soon here so keep an eye out for that but this is the little couch I was talking about that I'd gotten for free so also in, in this area I have my diffuser and this little table, as well as this little mirrored table over here, were both also um, gifts from my guardian angel. So, yeah, that's um, one little corner of my room, and here's where I like to stand and paint. I have an easel set up, and that's a piece that I'm currently working on. It's got my lighting. Um, yeah, the wall back there, those are all pieces that 
either didn't work out or I'm still working on and this whole area is just going to be not part of the tour <laughs> because it's not finished yet and my husband and I are actually turning that into a little theater room so to be continued on that but so right here I've got my little studio cart that's on wheels so I can roll it around wherever I'm painting one of my sidekicks right there the other is over there sleeping in her kennel but I put some of my books right here and obviously we really need to add the walls onto this little spot but kind of where we're at for now and let's see this rug I just recently added to my studio to make it feel a little more cozy and I got this little poof, this little chair I like to sit in and do any um, drawing and I've been recently painting and just sitting there and working on this painting actually you might think it looks familiar because it was a commission for a friend of mine and I've been hanging on to it for her but one of my dogs decided to be naughty and he completely just tore it up and it looks okay now like not as bad but it was torn up into little pieces that I had to kind of salvage it the best I could so of course I'm redoing that painting for her and they look pretty identical so far I mean there's obvious little minor um, changes and such um, but I have this little working desk that I'll set my paint and my pencils and stuff on um, there's a couple of my art books a lot more art books, just some little supplies. Got some crystals, a couple works there. I'm planning on putting some floating shelves in between these posts here because these are actually load bearing posts so they can't come down and I didn't quite want to put up another wall and block the limited amount of light that I get down here so I'm going to be putting some shelves up there and uh, hopefully being able to hold a little bit of all of the all of these books and stuff hold them up there yeah but this room used to be our gym area which having the gym as part of my studio I wasn't really opposed to initially just because it'll keep me a little more active because as you guys know artist life is pretty sedentary um, so yeah this is our little gym and I have some of my paintings hanging up over there next to the treadmill uh, this room back there is going to be a bathroom, but we have to install it. Um, there's a couple more originals that I have hanging up just behind the bench press. And I've got some just random frames here. And this one piece, I'll zoom in, right there is by um, Jake Cat Art or Jessica Kathleen. Um, she is an artist friend that I met on Instagram, and she did a beautiful painting here that I just really wanted <laughs> and I bought a print of it and she actually embellished it and it's so stunning so I have that hanging up there just wanted to brighten the room a little bit and I have a few lights out over there but there's some twinkle lights and here's where my computer desk is with my vision board and my just goals and plans for the coming months so yeah you guys that's kind of a very quick tour of my studio um, yeah, as you can tell from the ceiling and such, there's a lot still to do, but I'm very happy with how it is right now. It's a space that I feel comfortable in, and it's cozy, um, cozy enough anyways, and I'm able to work in here. So, that is what we've got going on. And before I officially bring this video to a close, I just wanted to remind you all or let you know in case you weren't aware, I am currently holding a large sale in my shop online at quinducreations.com. You can find a lot of my older works as well as the works that I have currently um, at a really great discount if you're interested in some original artwork. The sale goes through July 31st and is for 40% off using the coupon code SUMMER40. And while you guys are on my site checking out the sale, be sure you subscribe to my newsletter so that you can get email notifications of when I do sales like this and also of when I am adding new pieces into the shop. These four are part of a small series of paintings that I had done and should be going up shortly. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It's been really nice to kind of get back into the groove of filming for you guys and to start doing this whole thing again. I've been really not feeling like myself lately because I haven't been able to do this sort of thing and paint and to just continue with um, bringing you guys new content and videos and it really feels nice to get back into my normal routine and have a place where I feel comfortable again to work in and I know from the video that I showed from what you guys have probably seen it's not the most glamorous studio as of now but you kind of have to just work with what you have and I feel so blessed to have what I do have and I feel so blessed to have this big space that I can call my own and that I can use to work my business so I'm really thankful and I'm really happy to be where I am and I'll definitely keep you guys posted on all of the new updates and how the studio is coming along um, this is kind of my finished unfinished studio tour for now so so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to keep up with the studio and how it's progressing and keep up with any new videos that I post. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Um, my name is Tess. I'm an artist. I'm the founder of my brand, Quindu Creations, and I just, I love art. I love painting and I love sharing it with you guys. So thank you for being here and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.